Thank you. I partic- Can I get a copy of this? Tuba Queen. I actually talked with John Wynette, the director of Our Las Vegas, before I came here, and he's like, seriously, you should do the first three slides as just say musical interlude and play the tuba for 54 seconds. It'll be great. Come on, do it. I got the tuba in the car. (laughs) Ah, later. You know, because you know what we're going to do after this? We're going to go next door, and we're going to drink, and we're going to schmooze, and we're going to talk about all the stuff that we heard tonight that was like, holy shit, really? And then we, well, won't be the first time I played the tuba in there, right? All right, okay. So I have too much stuff. And I didn't take my allergy meds, so I'm kind of wheezy. I'm really sorry. (laughs) Go. Okay, I came here, you know, I was born here, strangely enough, in Las Vegas Hospital. Thank you very much. This is my great-grandpa. He came here as a mule skinner uh, to Goldfield. Then he became the sheriff of Esmeralda County. Uh, This is the Flamingo Flamingo where my grandpa, my other grandpa, this guy, worked and changed Bugsy Siegel's locks. And then, of course, there's my dad's side. Grandpa was an architect. Grandma was an artist, uh, Lucille Spire Bruner. And this is a painting she did of my other side of the family's house in Goldfield. Grandma was one of the founders of what became the Las Vegas Art Museum. Also, she was a founder of the Allied Arts Council and the Watercolor Society and a bunch of other stuff. And she taught me art from the time I could stand up and hold stuff. She would take me out in the desert and we would look at uh, the beautiful surroundings and say, there's nothing brown in the desert, people. Everything's got colors, even the stuff that looks brown. And then I learned how to use a camera Uh, and then immediately started working as a photographer, especially doing art stuff. The late, great Frank Wright uh, and Vasily Sulich in Nevada Dance Theater, I shot them for 15 years. Um, So I started as a commercial photographer, but then um, took a whole lot of art classes, and strangely enough, I did this thing, this radio thing, I don't understand it a bit, but I've been doing that literally for 27 years. But I was an artist first. I did art before I even did radio, weirdly enough. This is fancy radio. Um, The old radio that I used to do was considerably less fancy. I also went to Japan three different times. I was very, very heavily influenced by my time in Japan. Um, There's a lot of gold leaf. This is the Kinkakuji, a beautiful... It's a a beautiful pavilion in the the middle of a lake in Kyoto. Then I did something crazy. I decided I'd make art and use gold leaf. What a pain in the ass. (laughs) Jesus, oh, blah, oh my God. I actually shot this and printed this stupid thing and did the gold leaf and I'm like, that sucks. And then I learned Photoshop, it's great. So I literally built this thing. I mean, this is a piece that ended up on the side of the arts factory as part of the aerial gallery. Thank you, Richard Hooker. Uh, And um, this was up there for a couple of years. It was supposed to be like six months, but it was up there a really, 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 really long time. And I decided, Jerry Misko and I, oddly enough, started doing neon-y stuff kind of at a similar time, but in a completely different way. I was using the neon of my youth with the gold leaf of my spending a lot of time in Japan. By the way, Jerry and I can't run for office. We'll tell you why later. (laughs) Then um, also Photoshop doing the Japanese scroll type stuff. Um, You know, uh, Jim Stanford is the first guy that I ever did anything Photoshop-y with. Thank you, Jim Stanford. The Nevada State Arts Council conned me into making a piece for them and he helped me out with it. Then the iPhone happened. Taking pictures with your phone is not a bad thing. I, uh, this, is, this whole show was called Curating Ginger's Brain. It was at the TAM Alumni Center. I had too many works to fit on 110 feet of uh, wall space, and so we still managed. Then I got back into doing regular photography. First time in years that I actually used frames. This is a show I did with Lisa Stamanis uh, called Vantage Vegas, and this actually was uh, the, f- the first decent photo I took with a new iPhone that was actually a really good camera. Then, our Las Vegas. John Wynette uh, worked with the City of Las Vegas Arts Commission to bring 
public art to your phone, mobile device, or computer. Because why should it just be a giant sculpture or painting? Why can't you take it with you? And uh, he called me because I do a lot of crazy stuff like photograph way too much for my own good. And uh, I also, one of the other things we do with our Las Vegas is document things that happen. We have the gnomes from Jesse Smigel, and of course the art that's in uh, City Hall that you can go and see. And um, then there's the daily frame. And by the way, we're going to do a call for artists very soon. We're going to invite all of you practically, I'm sure. Uh, because you all have your phone with you. You all see the beauty that we have here in Las Vegas. You can, you could too, can have daily frames. I mean, do we not have the most bitchin' stuff ever here in Las Vegas? It's so beautiful. We have fabulous artists. We can do, you know, uh, portraits. We can do landscapes. We can do whatever we want. Everything is beautiful in this town. People don't believe the desert can be this beautiful, but it really is. And I think that's one of the great things that we have. Now, my new work, strangely enough, I had a show over at Richard Hooker with Richard Hooker's RTZ Gallery with the lovely and talented, I'm wheezy, oh my god, Tony Bondi. I'm starting to look at the inward part of Las Vegas now rather than the big stuff. And um, I'm very interested in the whole idea of just light. Why not? I was talking with Pasha Rafat blah, 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 like this, blah, blah. And he's like, what? You sound like a photographer. What are you talking about? Anyway, so that's the thing. Why not make beautiful pictures of light? Have a nice day. <laughs>